I'm going to go off the assumption that this is working and just start going. So, down where is back. Are we finally going to find out what Griffith's name is? Okay, so no is the answer. Let's see what we have. God damn it, where's the Josephine one, you motherfuckers?
Whatever, I'm doing this one. Because I honestly can't figure it out. Let us begin. Maybe I'm just retarded or something, but I can't imagine I'm the only one that's having this problem. Alright, let's go see about this Canari uh, alliance they want. And hope that Twitch doesn't shit on itself again. I followed another guy's advice that was like, you can tell whose quest it is by the pictures. So I clicked on every single one. None of them had uh, Josephine in it. Maybe I have to go talk to her again or something, but it didn't say this time in the last one I did that I had to talk to her again. So that's probably what it is. All right. Our Kunari contacts should be here to meet us. He is. Good to see you again, Hisrad. Gat! Last I heard, you were still in Saharan. They finally decided I'd calm down enough to go back into the is world. Is that a mullet? Boss, this is Gat. We work together in Saharan. It's a pleasure to meet you, Inquisitor. Hisrad's reports say you're doing good work. Ironbull's name is Hisrad. Under the Kuhn, we use titles, not names. My title was Hisrad because I was assigned to secret work. You can translate it as Keeper of Illusions, or... Liar. It means liar. Well, you don't have to say it like that. It's so nice to hear friends say good things about me in their secret spy reports. He does. But they aren't really secret, are they? Look, Gat. Relax. Unlike our superiors, I know how it works out here. We're in this together. The Devinter Imperium is bad enough without the influence of this Venatory cult. If this new form of Lyrium helps them seize power in Devinter, the war with Kunandar could get worse. With this stuff, the Vince could make their slaves into an army of magical freaks. We could lose Saharan and see a giant Devinter army come marching back down here. The Ben Hasrath agree. That's why we're here. Our Dreadnought is safely out of view and out of range of any Venatory mages on shore. We'll need to eliminate the Venatori, then signal the Dreadnought so it can come in and take out the smuggler ship. What do you think, Bull? Mm, don't know. I've never liked covering a Dreadnought run. Too many ways for crap to go wrong. If our scouts underestimate enemy numbers, we're dead. If we can't lock down the Venatori mages, the ship is dead. It's risky. Riskier than letting Red Lyrium into Minrathos? There might be Venatory mages on the ship as well, if the Dreadnought can't handle them. It's unlikely there'll be more than two or three mages on the ship, and they'll be dead by the third shot. On land, though, a half dozen Venatory attacking the Dreadnought from cover could do some serious damage. If it's dangerous for the Dreadnought close to shore, why not attack when the smugglers reach open water? Any decent smuggling ship can outrun a Dreadnought on open water. We need to catch them close to shore. 
I could have crushed any Venatori resistance with the Inquisition's main forces. Why not use them? Because then the Venatori would have seen you coming and run. They'd schedule a new shipment for later, and our spies might not know when or where. This is risky, yes, but it's our best chance to destroy the shipping operation permanently. Let's go hold up our end of this bargain, then. My agent suggested two possible locations the Venatori may be camped to guard the shore. There, and there. We'll need to split up and hit both at once. I'll come with you, boss. Krim can lead the charges. Let me fill him in. Come by when you're ready to move. Johnny Gat. Resurrected as an elf. Just waiting on you and his rod or Iron Bull, I guess. I'll be waiting here. Once they're down, send up your signal. That'll let the Dreadnought know it's safe to come in. Understood, Chief. Remember, you're gonna want a volley to start, but don't get suckered into fighting at range. They've got mages. It's all right. We've got a mage of our own. I'm not a mage. Get in close and take their enchanter down before he takes over the battlefield. He'll be dead before he knows it. Just pay attention, all right? The Vince want this Red Lyrium shipment bad. Yes, I know. Thanks, Mother. Kunari don't have mothers, remember? We'll be fine, Chief. All right, Chargers. Horns up! Horns up! Ready whenever you are, boss. I'm ready to head out, Bull. Right. Chargers, hit them hard and hit them fast. When this is over, drinks are on me. You got it, Chief. Chargers, double time. Let's move! You gave your Chargers the easier target. You think? Lower and farther from the smuggler's ship, it's much less likely to be heavily defended. Suppose we'll do the heavy lifting then, just like old times. <laughs> Be careful. My agent said to expect opposition ahead of the main camp. We've all done this a few times, Gat. You've been living outside the Kuhn for years now, Iron Bull. Just wanted to make sure your reflexes hadn't gotten as soft as the rest of you. Ouch. Prince up ahead! Don't let them warn the others! Now that the circles have fallen, it must please you to wield your power so freely, mage. Quite the reverse. Mages are dangerous, and their power makes them feared. The circles protected us. You sound almost reasonable. Get ready. We're close.
Oh, that was a beat down. We're clear, Gat. Right. Signaling the Dreadnought. Chargers already sent theirs up. See them down there. I knew you gave them the easier job. There's the Dreadnought. That brings back memories. <laughs> nice one. Crap. There are quite a few of them. Yeah. Your men need to hold that position, Bull. They do that. They're dead. And if they don't, the Venatori retake it and the Dreadnought is dead. You'd be throwing away an alliance between the Inquisition and the Canari. You'd be declaring yourself Talvashov. With all you've given the Inquisition, half the Ben Hasra think you've betrayed us already. I stood up for you, Hisrad. I told them you would never become Talvashov. They're my men. I know, but you need to do what's right, Hisrad, for this alliance and for the Kuhn. Call the retreat. Fuck the dreadnought. They are falling back. All these years, Hisrad, and you throw away all that you are. For what? For this? For them? We can make this up to your people. No, you can't. No way they'll get out of range. Won't be long now. Oh, when the Dreadnought sinks. Sinks? Canary Dreadnoughts don't sink. <sighs> Come on. Let's get back to my boys. Eh, your boys are worthless, but I figured I should be nice for now. <laughs>